line, do those things that are going to win games. OK, time to send it west now to Western Force Scrum Half, Gareth Simpson. Uh, mate, before we swing into your journey to becoming a star over there with the Force, a quick word on Cronny. What sort of coach have you found him to be since touching down? Um, Cronny's a very uh, straight-talking guy. He says it how it is, and that's um, that's something I enjoy. You know you, you know where you stand all the time, and, yeah, I'm really enjoying working with him. Um, you know, and I knew that from the start. I had a... A phone call with him on on Christmas Eve that that set up this opportunity and um, I think that that speaks volume of, volumes of him that he's willing to make these calls on on Christmas Eve and everything and we had a good chat then and yeah I'm really enjoying working with him. Yeah, so expand on that a little bit for us. How did you come to be at the Western Force? Um, I was at Worcester Warriors a couple months ago and unfortunately we went into administration as did Wasps a couple weeks later. Um, and I was sort of between clubs. I'd had a few uh, like short-term stints, played for the Barbarians and just sort of looking for an opportunity. And I yeah, got this phone call, like I said, on, on Christmas Eve and it's a nice early Christmas present. And, you know, it's hard to turn down an, an opportunity to come and live out in this beautiful place and, and play some, some super rugby. Yeah, have you found that switch from UK footy over to stuff down here in the Southern Hemisphere? It's uh, it is quite different. I get get asked this question a lot, um, but I'm trying to bring some of some of my skills from the the northern hemisphere down here and try and learn some stuff here that I can take back with me. Another bloke who's made a real impact since coming down this way from your former pocket of the world, Zach Kibberidge. Uh, what can you tell us about your flyer out there on the wing? Uh, he's a bit of a bit of a jokester. He's a uh... Not the most serious guy, but uh, when he puts his foot down, he's he's all go, isn't he? And um, I had the privilege of playing with him for the Barbarians, and um, you know that was a really good week as well. And it was good to get to know him there and continue to get to know him here. So you've just completed that long, long, long tour of New Zealand. What did you learn about uh, yourselves over there across that three-week stint, and went close in a couple of those games as well? Yeah, I think the biggest thing we learned is that we're a team that can that can play to 84, 85, 86 minutes. Um, you know, we we haven't necessarily started well in all our games, um, but we do have we do have some drive and we we finish games well. And you know, we we're always capable of pushing these big teams. Um, and I think now it's just time to put the put the whole picture together and get a, a full 80 minute performance. Quick word on the Waratahs this week. Um. Yeah, it's an uh, it's an exciting game. I think all the Aussie derbies that I've watched so far have been have been big games and and very exciting. Um, and you know, I, I'm new to this this whole thing, but it's it's very exciting for me to go up against you know pretty strong Waratahs team. And but that's what we want. We want to challenge ourselves and we want to play against the best. Mate, we're coming over next week. We're going to be doing rugby heaven and be on the ground over there with you in Perth as well. How excited are you to take the team back in front of the Sea Blue? How exciting to get back in front of your home fans? Very excited. I haven't played in front of the Sea of Blue yet, um, but being at the games, they're, they're an awesome crowd. And we've been away for so long now um, that it is pretty exciting. And hopefully we get some good numbers down there and we... You know, yeah, their voices, because it does make a big difference. And, yeah, I'm very excited to play in front of them. Mate, we're so to have you here on our shores doing what you do so well. Keep going well, and we'll catch you next week. Cheers. Thank you, guys. We wave goodbye to Gareth Simpson there. And now we pick it up with the Queensland women.